by the way, you can also overlay other data as well. So you can, the property data that I showed you in the previous video, you can do the same here as well. So you can start overlaying the contours, for example, or the units replan just to make sure that we're within boundary, which is great. Underground services, if there are any, if, if you zoom out, you'll see some services come through if the if it's captured around this area that's what we got in here transport you can look at public transport cycling network oh there we go that's public transport coming through um okay environmental data there's flood prone areas uh, catchment and hydrology um tsunami evac zones uh, contextual layers public toilets population growth clinic schools so it's quite handy enriching your analysis and your decision making around um, property planning development so that's really what I wanted to show you um, at my next video I'll show you how to um, basically do the whole shebang in one go doing it properly so I'll end it there thank you very much